All right, so here's a side note about two force members, members that only have two forces. Let's say we have a force at A and a force at B. Uh, what could those forces uh, look like? All right, if we have a force at A and a force at B and no other forces anywhere else, all right, so if members only be acted on by two forces and no external moments, and it is in equilibrium, then... The sum of the forces in X has to still be equal to zero. The sum of the forces in Y has to still be equal to zero. The sum of the moments has to still be equal to zero, right? Uh, so, so I'm thinking the sum of the forces needs to be zero. So maybe I've got 10 newtons here and 10 newtons here. The sum of the forces in X equals zero. The sum of the forces in Y equals zero. But the sum of the moments would not be equal to zero. The sum of the moments would not be equal to zero. Uh, so what could I have? You know, I, I couldn't have... I couldn't have this and this. I couldn't have this and this. I, what could I have at A and B so that the sum of the forces is equal to zero and the sum of the moments is equal to zero? I could have something like this. I could have a 10 here and a 10 here, right? I could have a 10 Newton here and a 10 Newton here. And if they lie along that same line of action, if they lie along that same line of action, then there'd be no rotation. There'd be no sum of the moments. If I sum my moments about A, then both of those forces go straight through it. If I sum my moments about B, if I sum my moments about here, then they're equal and opposite. They would add up to zero. That's the only thing that can happen. The, uh, the two forces must be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and they must lie on the same line of action lie on the same line of action so if they lie on the same line of action then that line of action would be the line that connects the two forces. So this would be the line that connects the two forces. Okay, so if it's uh, an L beam like this, and it, if it is pin, or sorry, if, if there's one force here and one force here, and no other external forces, no other moments on here, then those forces must be right here. Uh, what if it is here and here? What if we have A and B? Then it means they have to be right there along that same line of action. Now, they might be that way or they might be this way. Equal in magnitude, opposite in a direction, on the same line of action, the line of action that connects the two forces. Now, when might we see this? When might we see this? We might see a link that is pinned at B and pinned at A, right? This could be pinned at B and pinned at A. Now, I thought the way I handle pins, I put like a BX and a BY, right? I put like an AX and an AY. But you know that a BX and a BY could be combined. It's really just one force. I have broken it up into its X and Y. So pins really only have one force. So links that are pinned and pinned with no forces in between, then those pins, I know the direction of the reaction forces at those pins. Does that make sense? I know the directions of the reaction forces of those pins. Let, let's look at this next one. Let's see how that this plays out. All right, if I was to draw a free body diagram of this handle CBA, CBA, then at A, I've got an AY and an AX because it is a pin. At C, I've got a 400 Newton force. At B, my instinct is to draw a BX and a BY, but I would have too many unknowns, and I'd sum my forces I only have three equations, and I would have four unknowns. But if I recognize that that link right there at BD 
is pinned and pinned and nothing in between, then I know the force at D, I know the force at B, they lie on this line right here. So instead of having a BX and a BY, I'm going to have an FB, and it is at that, so that'd be 45 degrees, uh, it is at the angle, uh, the direction of the pin and pin. That allows me now to only have one unknown, and that free body diagram now only has three unknowns. All right, let's sum the forces in the X direction. I've got AX uh, and 400 and FB sine 45 equals zero. Sum my forces in the Y direction. I've got AY and FB cosine 45 equals zero. Still can't solve. I probably should have just started with summing the moments. Uh, I think some of the moments about A makes the most sense because AX goes straight through it, AY goes straight through it. Um, this FB, I don't, I'm not so sure if I could find its perpendicular distance. So let me break this into its two components. Uh, FB cosine 45 is right here going up, and it is 0.1 away, creating a negative moment. FB sine 45 is this one right here. It is 0 0.2, right? Its distance is 0 0.2, creating also a negative moment. But then I've got that 400. Okay, I've got that 400 up there. Its perpendicular distance is 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0.7, creating a clockwise, a negative moment, equals 0. Make sure you write equals 0 so that we can get this correct, I would get, the math would tell me FB negative 1320. What, what does that mean? Uh, you, you probably could have even guessed better than I guessed from the figure. Uh, this, this link is not pushing it this way. This link is actually pulling it back that way. It doesn't make, I, I think I, I should have known that. If I'm pulling this with 400 right here, what is the link going to do? The link is going to need to pull it back. Uh, so it's 1320 that direction. Now, I'm going backwards to an equation I've already written. I wrote that equation in the wrong direction. I need to plug in negative 1320, and I'll get AY positive 933 newtons. Uh, plug in negative right there, and I would get AX positive 533 newtons. So those are my answers. Box in those final magnitudes and make sure everything is drawn the correct direction on your free body diagram. So we needed to recognize that that force at B is a two force member so that I don't, don't draw a BX and a BY. If you didn't recognize it and you had four unknowns, then what you would have had to have done, you would have had to come and draw a free body diagram of the link and you'd have some more um, equations for the link uh, and you'd really be going around the uh, around the world just to get the correct answer right there.